Hello everybody, and as you can see, there are big, big changes ahead of us for this final season of Career Mode. First off, Charles Leclerc is in a Red Bull, Verstappen is in a Mercedes, Giovinazzi in a McLaren, Norris in a Ferrari, and Jack Aitken debuts for Mercedes, Sebastian Vettel moves to McLaren, Schwartzman is an Alpine driver, Mick Schumacher moves to Aston Martin, and we have Michael Schumacher as a teammate for this season. There, I don't know if I've missed any of the moves, but those are the key ones. So, quite a shake-up we've had. So, let's reveal the car. So this design is inspired by the Toyota of the early 2000s, so hoping that we can take it to another Drivers' Championship. And with Michael Schumacher as our teammate, hopefully he will be a strong teammate to push us to the Constructors as well. But first off, we are in Bahrain. There will be 16 races to this, the final season of this career mode journey. And what a journey it has been. Also, I forgot to note that Christian Lungard has been moved down to Haas, which I think is very harsh. But it, it, it just happens. Like It's the thing with these driver transfers. Sometimes they can be really harsh. Like, if anything, Schwartzman got lucky that Alpine threw him a bone. But whatever. Here we are in qualifying for the Bahrain Grand Prix. And as you can see, we have got ourselves into the top 10. But we've now got to do one more lap. One more flying lap. And Charles Leclerc in Q3 here. Just not doing me any favours at all. He is well and truly in the way. I don't know if he's on a... No, he's not on a lap. He just breaks right in the middle of the racing line there. Cheers for that, Charles. And you can tell that that has really compromised my lap. And I've also got my teammate there in the way. I've made a mistake. The frustration is kicking in and Leclerc still staying right behind me. We were teammates once, Charles. How could you? Maybe he didn't doesn't take the being moved from the team very well. But whatever. We've now got our new teammate, Michael Schumacher, dead ahead. So again, at the end of the lap, I'm going to be held up as well. I really should have made more step space before starting the lap. Why'd we go then? And I think that's not even going to break out of 10th. Oh, well, we do go 9th, but I think that's going to ultimately become 10th. We've so for the first finished. race of it's the final season, it is 5th and 10th. And a Red Bull 1-2. We had line, warning signs worry. of this we'll towards the end of last season. That Prix. Red Bull would be strong. And that they are strong. Months of rumour and speculation all come to an end today as we return to racing for the opening event of what promises to be an enthralling season. Welcome along then to round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. There's no shortage of passing opportunities around the 3.36 miles of the Bahrain International Circuit with the best at turn one of course and then another soon into turn four. 15 corners here, 6 to the left and 9 to the right, and we could see one or two flat spots into the tight left-hander of turn 10. A new season then, a clean slate where anything could happen. Anthony Davidson is with me today as we get another year of Formula One underway. We're into those tense few minutes before the first race then. Everyone's a little bit nervous about reliability. They haven't been running in the hot, turbulent wake of other cars in practice. And they've not been pushing at 100% for long durations. Let's hope no one has to deal with any nasty surprises. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. George Russell did very well in qualifying yesterday and will start today's race from pole position with Charles Leclerc alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Norris, 
Michael Schumacher. And Gasly, Giovinazzi, Aitken, Stroll, and Joker. Sonoda, Vettel, Valtteri Bottas, and Ocon. Joe, Latifi, Artem Markalov, and Robert Schwartzman. Eilert, Lundgaard, Mazepin, and Mick Schumacher. And with lights out just moments away, it's time. Another change I forgot to mention, Bottas in a Ferrari as well. Quite a few teams with all new lineups this season. But it's lights out and away we go for this Bahrain Grand Prix. Got a little bit of wheel spin there. And look at the fast starting Sonoda on our left. Covering off, trying to cover Valtteri Bottas now. But we've gone down the inside of Lance Stroll. But we're just going to get squeezed in very tightly there. And we've lost a few more positions. And look at Joe Guan Yu in the Williams. Running quite high. Oh! Nearly tagging Sebastian Vettel there as we try to go to the outside of the next corner. And are we going to be able to hold the line there? Yes, we are. But look at this. Down to P12 in the first race. It is all changed this season. And we are not racing right at the front. Going down the inside, though, of the Aston Martin. This time, we've got Lance Stroll. We're up into P11. On the tail of the Ferrari of Valtteri Bottas. And, oh, but we made a mistake and gone a little bit wide there. That might allow Stroll back through. That has allowed Stroll back through. And he's just got a little bit of extra momentum on us then out the corner. He's going to go very tight to defend. I'm going to try and go around the outside. But Stroll having that covered. We're going to try and go around the outside again. But again, Stroll just covering me off. I've gone very wide. And I'm lucky not to lose a further position to Sebastian Vettel in the McLaren. So, disaster of a start then. We lost a couple of places and we're well off. This is not where we wanted to be for the first race at all. It is a new end of the field here. Leclerc in the Red Bull, our former teammate, sets the fastest lap. He is partnered by George Russell. What a strong pairing that's going to prove to be this season. As we try and dive down the inside of Lance Stroll, that'll be the position. So we move back into P11. Wow, I didn't think we'd be fighting this hard for 11. But next up is a dive on Valtteri Bottas. We're not going to make the corner. We've gone very deep there. And I'm not sure what I was attempting with that one. I think desperation creeps in. And look at Stroll. Down the inside there. Wow, that is sheer bravery. I would not have had the, the guts to try that one. That was a very ballsy move by Stroll. And he moves back into 11th. And we're back down to 12. We're only two laps into this race. And we've seen so much action already. As I now go back down the inside of Stroll. And he can stay okay, behind me work. this time. Pass. I have never fought this hard for P11 and P10 before. But we're now really in the mix. Fighting for it. In fact, I have fought this hard, but not since the early seasons have we fought this hard just to get into the points. Okay, but now up the inside of Bottas and the power advantage today. I have you need to just seeing me through into P10. Corner. Let the drag slow you down a bit before you start active braking. So finally into the points for us now. Next up are Aitken and Sonoda. Jack Aitken debuting this season and debuting for McLaren. McLaren? Complete Mercedes, sorry. Now. And he's having a decent showing so far. But anyway, we've now made our first pit stop. And what will be our only today. pit stop in what turns out strategy. to be a very ambitious strategy by myself there. I'm trying to get right on Aitken, but Zhou Guan Yu getting in the way of that. So I want to get past this Williams as soon as possible. I do not want to be wasting time. Right, so on the back of Joe Guan Yu. When can we do it? I think the hairpin is going to be our best bet. And we're going to have to just dive down the inside here. We should have him quite easily. That is Joe Guan Yu passed. Right, now I need to get on to Joe Vinatzi nice and move. Jack Aitken. But these, th this is for position, don't forget, against Aitken and Sonoda. And look at this traffic jam here. There's a lot of cars. There's more drivers are getting out the pits and you see here what I believe is Michael Schumacher oh he's tagged someone I think he's really tagged someone so I think that's going to be front wing damage for our teammate so 
that's not a good start for him in his campaign with this team. I'm now going to try and get down the inside of Aiken and Sonoda at the same time. They were so busy racing each other, they didn't see me coming down the inside. And that is a great move for position, I might add. There's a lot of cars here, though, that are out of position and that are not part of this strategy. Right, Giovinazzi next. That move's not going to work. Schumacher's going to hold him right up around this corner, though. But I think there's another car in front of Schumacher that's got a little bit of damage. I'm not quite sure who it is. Either that or it's a Haas that's mixing things up. Uh, well, a, ha a Haas at full speed, should I say. Right, Giovinazzi, can we get past him? Schumacher's holding him up. We're going to go round the outside of them both here because neither of them have momentum. And that is a double overtake round the outside there. You don't see that often, but that's what I'm proud of. Schumacher holding Giovinazzi up, playing a nice team game and effortless pass Michael on Mazepin just stop. to boot here. Right. The thing is, I don't want to get caught up losing too much time racing these because my strategy, the reason I'm trying the one stop is to put me back at the front when it all shakes out. Right, there's a McLaren stopping. I'm not sure who that is, but there's a McLaren that's out of the running. And now we come up to Pierre Gasly, who again, we are racing for position, but I'm not stopping again. I think he might, and we're now going to end up having to be very careful there, because otherwise we were going to go into Lando Norris in the Ferrari. Great you made and that's it not what we want to be doing at this stage. He's try he himself is trying to pass Mick Schumacher, Schumacher Jr., should I say, in the Aston Martin. So we've literally got father and son racing here. Right. Now going up against Lando Norris. Norris going defensive. I can't really go to the outside. Schumacher's boxed in. I'm going to have to try and do this in the middle. I've done it in the middle. Got past them both. Seen them both off. And I think Norris has gone into Mick Schumacher for good okay, measure. Clear. We're going to have a little look at that in a second. Here we go. We've gone down the middle. Norris has just gone straight into Mick. And, yeah, there is damage to that Ferrari. So, I think Norris will be pitting. Well, they're both going very slow there. So, I don't know if they had an issue there. Right, round the outside. Oh! Trying to go round the outside of Max Verstappen in the Mercedes. That, that fight got quite aggressive, didn't it? But we've now got through, and as it's shaken out now, we are in P3 after passing some of the other guys. Max Verstappen's made his final pit stop as well. You'll be on the so some interesting strategies showing themselves here. Meanwhile, we have got ahead of Charles Leclerc, but are we going to be ahead of George Russell? I think we will be. There you have it then. We are going to be ahead of George Russell. So we are leading the Bahrain Grand Prix. And you know what? That is a little more like it. Instead of racing hard just to barely scrape being in the points. But this tyre strategy is a gamble. And already I'm starting to feel the disadvantage of these tyres. And the Red Bulls are starting to close in on me just a little bit. But I've got just enough pace in me. To keep the gap just over a second. So for now, it looks like I have this covered. But as we head towards the end of the race, these tyres are going to be finished. And the Red Bulls are going to be closing in. Russell has got DRS on Leclerc. But I think, I think Christian Horner has said, look guys, hold position. Because Joe will be vulnerable at the end of the race. So just hold position for now. We can get him. There is a win available to us. Two laps to go. And there's a Ferrari coming out of the pits. I think that's Lando Norris. So he's had a shocking debut for Ferrari. Not a great a great debut for the, the prancing horse at all. Right. We're now lapping him. We're now lapping Lando Norris. So that should put a gap between... Well, car between me and Leclerc. But look at Norris now. He is unlapping himself on me. Lando, what are you doing? I'm now going wide. I'm losing time to Leclerc. And that has put him within seven tenths of me on this penultimate lap. And they have a nice tyre advantage here. So I'm having to push like hell to try and get the gap back to a second. But it's not going to happen. 
Leclerc's going to have DRS. Fortunately, I've got DRS on Lando, who just seems much quicker at the moment. But he's getting the blue flags. He is going to have to move through. This final Look at this. Final Leclerc, six race. tenths behind me. But Nor Norris is getting out of the way. Is he going to get out of the way of Leclerc too? I don't believe he does. So Norris, once again, getting between us. And for now, that'll do. But we're now heading into the final stages of the last lap. Leclerc has been allowed through. And he's going to get one more stab at this DRS. We're really starting to struggle with these tyres now. Look at Leclerc. He is very close. Is he going to have a go? I'm going defensive. Leclerc goes to the outside. But I've now gone deep trying to cover it. And look at the traction advantage Leclerc has. He has gone through into the lead on the final lap of the Bahrain Grand Prix. Charles Leclerc has got me. I tried defending, but in turn that gave him such better traction out of the corner. And our tyres just... We don't have the tyre grip to fight him off. And Leclerc is going to win the first race of Season 5 of this career mode. It's Charles Leclerc who wins the first well, race of this finish. final season. And if this else. race is anything to go by, this is going to be... A tough season, but it's also going to be an exciting season. And I can't wait to bring you guys the rest of this season. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? Well, tyre management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed. It's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to every one of the team. Well, there is the proof that it's never over until it's over. And Charles Leclerc nipping me on the last lap here. Lando Norris, though, definitely playing a part with his shenanigans of unlapping himself on me. But, yeah, as soon as Charles was coming for me, I did not have the DR I did not DRS. I did not have the tyre grip to fight him off. So, that's unfortunate for us. But... I did say I feel like Red Bull are going to be very strong going into this final season. And they are proving very, very strong indeed. So it's a win for Leclerc. We got second though. George Russell was After third and gets the racing, fastest lap. Bottas, a very strong debut for Ferrari in fourth. Gasly in fifth. Strong result for AlphaTauri again with Sonoda in sixth. Jack Aitken doing a good, a good debut for Mercedes in seventh. Ocon in eighth. Vettel ninth. And Robert Schwartzman doing what he couldn't do for Ferrari and getting a first point in the first race of the season for Alpine. Verstappen ended up 11th then so he must have had a problem but there you can see it the championship standings Leclerc taking that early lead this is going to be a tough season to beat the Red Bulls I think but I am up for the challenge it would have been nice to have my teammate there but like I said 15 races to go this is going to be an exciting season. I really look forward to bringing you the rest of it. Thank you for watching this. Don't forget to leave a like and hit the subscribe button if you're new here and you want to see more content from me. Until the next time, I've been Joe, TTFN guys. Ta-ta for now.